Welcome to Speed Bump Garage. My name is Kent, and as you can see, I've got a few things loaded in the truck, and we are headed to do a revival on another Volkswagen. As some of you know, I already have a pretty nice Volkswagen we did a revival on a little over a year ago, and one of my neighbors actually has a little Volkswagen Beetle. I'm not even sure what year it is, but sounds like some fuel issues put it out of commission. It's been sitting for about five years. I've briefly looked at it. It's only about three miles away. So I grabbed a few tools and we're going to head that way. All right, after a long three mile drive, here we are. And this car, I just kind of briefly looked at it. It is nice. The paint looks really nice. It's been sitting here for a while. It's got flats. He did say he has a new set of tires for it though. Looks like. 2018's probably when it came off the road. Man, look at it. That Just car, look at that it. car is not perfect. Just look at it. <laughs> this car is solid. Really nice little car. The bumpers have a little bit of surface rust on them, but I think that'll clean up. Here is the worst thing about all these Volkswagens that I've had. I'm sure we're about to see a wiring nightmare. Golly, and I think most of that's factory. Now they just put a mess of wiring in these cars. And for those of you that are new on the channel, I just rewired the black Volkswagen that you saw at the house. So it's somewhat fresh on my memory, the wiring diagram for these. So I'm Pretty confident we can get that straightened out and I mentioned before this car a fuel delivery issue put it out of commission he thinks maybe that there's a hole in the fuel line somewhere or right next to the train tracks but he thought maybe there was a hole in the fuel line somewhere and he parked it well since he parked it he tried to run it on a fuel tank just to get it back going you can see the little fuel hose here and he doesn't have fire which makes me a little nervous. Maybe we had a mouse chew something up in the wiring harness. I don't know. Our goal today is to just get it running and maybe get it home. I know this is a good car, so maybe we'll hot wire the coil if we have to. I don't know, but that's where we're at. No fire, fuel issue. I did bring a boat tank and a battery. Let's check out the inside. Man. This is a nice car. I still don't know what year it is. I haven't actually bought it yet. The guy's supposed to be meeting me out here. Seats are nice. Interior is pretty nice. I can't see what's back there. Definitely had some mice in here, so maybe that's the firing issue we're seeing. Nice little buckets. This for sure is a later model Volkswagen and pretty common on a Volkswagen. You're always going to find a handful of fuses. Oh, spark plugs. Some type of maybe heater boot. Well, that's the car. There's not much to these little Volkswagens. Man, see, we got really nice door panels. I'm pretty optimistic we're gonna be able to get this thing going. I've got the truck backed up here. I'm gonna get some tools out. Make sure we got power to that coil. I guess we'll go from there. This might be a pretty easy one. All right, he did tell me that the battery was bad, so I brought my trusty old battery that I use on every video. Huh. I'm not sure how to operate this seat, but the battery is under the back seat in a Volkswagen. Well, for Pete's sake, I don't know if these seats are factory or not. They're a lot different than my Volkswagen. My Volkswagen has a lever on the back of the seat that you slide up. 
This has a knob where you can adjust the angle. There it is. <laughs> I think this little lever here is supposed to be operating it, but it's not. Figured it out. Ugh. Let's get this out of the way. It does look like it has a little car cover. That'll be nice. Look at that mouse nest. Get rid of that. Had a little cardboard insulation under that seat. Let me grab some gloves. Come on in here and take a look at this. We have definitely had the mice or the pack rats in here. Typical Volkswagen wiring there too. Plus maybe a couple extras. Some surface rust going on there in the pan. Doesn't look too major. Got a Detroit battery in it. Pull that out and switch over to our other one. He did tell me he's got a carburetor kit for this thing somewhere, so we may be needing that. Look at that, we're solid under the battery even. Maybe. No rot. That's a good sign. Let's swap these batteries out. This battery is a 2020 model. It's only two years old. We might be able to put a charge on that and bring it back around. Oh, you see that? They tried to trick me. I almost would have hooked that to the positive side, but that is a ground. And this is the positive. I caught you. That was almost a bad day. All right, let me get that tightened up and a little powered up and see what happens. Well, our positive cable split when I was tightening it up, so I think we might have to put a new end on that, but let's gonna see what we have for now. We do have power. Let me crawl in over there and see if it'll turn over. Nothing. Let me get that in swapped out and we'll see what happens. We got a new battery terminal end on. Let's try it again. Nothing. I, I can hear a relay kicking behind the seat. Come on in here, give me a hand. That must be the starter relay right there. I can hear it. kicking I think this is the signal wire to the starter solenoid let's make sure we got power there yep it's sending power to the starter solenoid Okay, I think it might be a ground issue. I wiggled this ground wire that's red. Now it's going. So I think we're still fighting connection issues on our battery, but we've got good enough connection now. We can try and make something happen, see if we got fire at our, or see if we got power at our coil. We have a little bit of a wiring nightmare going on back here too. I'm not sure what all we got going on. We've got scotch locks here, some sort of a bulkhead here with nothing going to it. This is a lot later model Volkswagen than mine. So we've got a bunch of stuff that mine doesn't have. I don't know. 
Let me power it up and see if we got power. Okay, well the no power to the coil, this little wire here had fallen off and I hope that was the only issue. I did go ahead and crimp that little spade connector a little tighter. And while I was in there, I thought I'd go ahead and check out the points and found that this thing has a igniter points eliminator in it. So we don't have any points to file. We've got power to our coil. I'm gonna hook our fuel line up to our little fuel tank. Oh, I guess, let's take a look at our little oil bath air cleaner. Okay, it does not have any oil in it, but it looks pretty clean. I'm not afraid to try to start it on that. Let me get hooked to some fuel and we'll see what happens. I brought a little three gallon boat tank. I think we'll go ahead and just hook up. There's enough fuel hose on it. We should be able to maybe set it in the passenger seat if it does run to get us to the house. Only being three miles really helps. We do not have far to go at all. When we get the car home, he said he thought the fuel tank, the supply line coming back here from the tank was sucking air somewhere. I think we'll just try to drive it home on this and put it on the lift and we'll address that later. It'll be a lot easier to work on that at the, in the shop than out here in the dirt. So we'll see where we can get with this set up. One of the things you guys had mentioned in my comments is using some two-stroke fuel on your initial fire up to help lubricate the cylinders and stuff. So I got a little bit of two-stroke fuel here. I'm gonna give her just a shot of it. That's probably way too much. Let's see if it'll fire up. All right, we are in neutral. <laughs> she wants to run. Got a little fire there. Let me go give her another shot of that fuel. Another little drink here. See what that does for it. Definitely have fire. Switch hands here. Oh yeah. I don't think we have picked fuel up yet, which our fuel hose on that boat tank is pretty long. Come on, baby. Might have picked some up there. Started up and ran, not quite wanting to idle yet. Oh yeah. Sounds pretty good. I don't see it smoking. I can't see the tailpipe obviously, but there's at least not a cloud of smoke behind us. One of the things I didn't do on camera was check the oil. 
but I did check the oil, I promise. We are good on oil, it actually looked pretty good. We'll check it out after it runs for a second, but. Our fuel pump must have got primed. Still not wanting to really idle, but if I keep it revved up a little bit, it runs. There we go. We got a runner. See, we do have oil. It was full and doesn't look too bad. Wonder. See if we're squirting fuel or not. It looks like we've got an electric choke. It's part way open. Let me go fire it up again. I need my little starter trigger. I forgot it. There we go. We got the oil light even went off. gonna get back here with that thing running. There we go. It actually sounds really good. Not wanting to idle. We definitely have this fuel hose going from the mechanical pump to the carburetors leaking. I'm going to maybe make up a new one out of this hose that was on it or try to find a little bit smaller one and put it on there. So I'll get that replaced and then we'll see if the tires will take some air and take it for a quick drive. Boy, that old fuel line is hard as a rock. I know my boat tank's clean, so I think for now I'm just going to rig that up without a filter in it. That 5 16 fuel hose is a little big on there. I think we might need some quarter inch, but... I've got her pinched down on there tight enough. It'll do for now, I think. Looks like this tire is the only one that's completely flat. I brought my little DeWalt inflator. I'll try to put some air in it. They're in pretty bad shape. Really dry, but I think they'll get us home. And I don't know if I said this already, but he does have a fresh set of tires for it. Set that at 30 pounds. Press play. Well, it took 30 pounds. Looks like it's going to stay up too. I've got my temporary fuel line running up over the side and right there. Now let's try to take it for a ride. We got a, we even got brakes, I think, which is unusual for cars that we buy. It's not wanting to go in reverse. Hmm. I cannot get it to take reverse. <laughs> We're running back here through Marty's junkyard. RP 
pants. <laughs> oh, Catamar. enough to take it out on the highway yet my main concern is there is a between my house and Marty's who owns this car there's a bridge it's under construction and it's only one lane and I'm nervous I'm gonna break down on that bridge it's only one lane and cause a traffic issue what well, feels healthy though, once you get that RPM up where it's dumping enough fuel in there, it feels like it runs really good. I think we've got a good little car. Well, I do think it's running good enough that we can get it home, being that it's only three miles. But I forgot my fire extinguisher, and I don't like to take any of these vehicles out, especially one that nice without a fire extinguisher. So I'm going to run to the house and get a fire extinguisher. And I'm going to get Jack, my oldest boy, too, in case I break down on that bridge that I was talking about. At least then I could hop out and Jack could steer and I could maybe push it out of the way. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm pretty confident we can keep it running, but I'm going to go get Jack and the fire extinguisher. Then we'll try to make the trip home. Well, we've got Jack now. What do you think? Smells like gas fumes in here. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> we kind of have a gas tank in here. Oh, we got seat belts. Yeah, it's a fastened belt flight. <laughs> here we go. Now, if we can get across this bridge, I'm going to feel a lot better. Here is the road construction I was talking about. Let's go for it.
the little bug made it home and pretty uneventful revival i don't even know if you'd call it a revival i really think just the fuel issue and that wire coming off the coil is the only thing that was wrong with this it, he was concerned about it not having fire but i think it was just that little wire that slipped off don't really know what all we're going to do to it probably in the next video we'll definitely clean it up and probably try to find a carburetor kit for it maybe rebuild the carburetor i don't know we'll do some comparisons with the black bug to really show the modifications that the black bug has i uh they're pretty huge i've never had a factory bug sitting next to it so we'll do that in the next video and maybe make it a little more road worthy and I don't know. Probably take it to town like we always do. Yeah. Anyways, fun little video. Neat little car. I'm glad to have it. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys watching. And we'll see you on the next video.